Hey guys, welcome to Trap. Oh, I'm not buddy. screaming because we're wearing microphones and they pick up a lot. So if yes. it sounds like we're at a library, I'm sorry because we don't quite know how big this uh, is going to be. But you should be able to help Tim. Tim, talk to us. Hello. Don't talk into talk your mic. Now. Just talk normal, Tim. Don't. Hello. There you go. <laughs> so Tim's back there. That way we can hear him. It doesn't sound like I'm dragging him like a trailer over the boat. Hitch. And Rachel's over here finishing up what we're going to talk about in this video. But before that, I'm thinking, I got creative today, guys. I've got something different. No, I got my Americana. I uh, got a, uh, a white flat mocha honey almonds. Oh, hold on, let me check it. You don't know what it is. I forgot what it was. What was it? It's, uh, hold on. Yeah, I told him it was a girl drink. No okay. offense, girls. A honey almond milk flat white. See what I'm talking about? Anytime I say flat white when it comes to coffee, I think that's a, that's girl drink. But what does the flat white mean? Um, flat white is different from a latte. Okay. It has, I, I, to me, it has a stronger coffee taste, but it has really? more milk in it than okay. a latte. Because okay. less foam, less. Yeah, Rachel is drinking a decaf. Mocha. 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 And this is the final video in our series. This is number four. And so what we're going to talk about, today, we're wrapping it up. We're wrapping it up with team colors, team uh, names, stuff like that. Uh, and just from the outset, let me be the one to say this. Uh, whenever we send out teams, uh, right before that, we will also let the students know when we arrive the looming situations and the looming list because those things are kind of the last, they're the last thing we do and there's really no way to give you a heads up. And so when we get there, students find out their room assignments, we do everything in our power to get them in a room with a person they choose. Most of the time it works. I'd say most of the time it works. But uh, we work on that stuff when we get there. But teams though, what we do is we, we put all the people on a team, you get a, a leader, that leader will contact you in the next week or so and tell you, hey, you're on such and such a team, blah, 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 and remind you of some of the things we're going to tell you on the video. But when it comes to teams, here's what we're asking. Uh, if for some reason when you find out certain people are on a team or maybe a friend of yours, maybe not a roommate friend, but somebody you, you want them on your team, don't do that. It makes it confusing. Just go ahead and decide, I'm going to jump into my team. I'm going to love it. It's going to be awesome. You will meet new people on your team. Uh, and so that's one of the benefits. Uh, and so as we also go, we'll talk about how the, the tribe teams work. Uh, because you need to know that. Because some people think that if they're on the team with someone or a whole team of people, there's a few people you don't know, you feel like, oh, we only gather a certain time, number of times during the day, right before a big event, right, right before we go to bed and stuff like that. But your Bible studies and all that stuff, that's somersault teams, and those are different. Yeah. All right, so just to say that. So, Rachel, what are we talking about? So, you want to do the teams first or the spirit teams? Let's do the teams first. Okay. Our teams is your, um, we usually give, uh, assign a color to each team. Yes. And then also a thing. Like, in the past, we've done Cereal. sodas, cereal, fruits, weird, vegetables. Weird animals. Yes, just something for you to know. That's my team. <laughs> Um, and if, if you don't know where you are, you just say, I'm looking for the broccoli team. And so, if you're at some of the Sonia Wars. anyway. Or the narwhals. The yeah, narwhals were my were... favorite animal team we oh, did. It was a fun one. Yeah, where unicorns go for vacation. All right, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> but this year we decided to do weird instruments. Hey! Because I'm a band geek. Yes. yes. And I was so excited. Uh, but full disclosure, I played in the band. I played the drums in the marching band, and I was a band geek. Yes. My boys were band geeks. It was awesome. So, so we're excited. So, what are they? So, um, do you want me to tell the colors? Yes. So we have the blue kazoos. The blue. Let's go. Wait, are all of these going on? No. Oh. This one I know. I wish they were. The blue kazoos. Yeah, I believe it. That's the one thing I think every marching band should have. <laughs> they should have a kazoo section. They would just be the be humming awesome. behind That'd be so awesome. Um And then we have the green maracas. Green yeah. maracas. <laughs> okay. And, um, they shake. They shake things up. Oh, yeah. We have the orange tambourine. The orange yeah. tambourine. Those are drums for those. Drums. Those are drums with chingly ching things yes. on it. It's a fancy way to clap. It is a fancy way to clap. <laughs> it's a sparkly clap. That's what you do. Then we have the yellow trumpet. 
the yellow trumpet. That was I played that instrument in band early, like in sixth grade. And then you know what? I had to give it up because I was not very good at math. And my mom said you have to learn how to do math. More than the trumpet. And I got kicked out of band, but I came back to the trumpet. There you go. Comeback story. That's right. And then we have the pink recorders. The pink yeah. recorders. Now that doesn't mean now your parents are going recorders. Is that like a tape recorder? No. We're talking about the. We mean the whistling flute thing that yes. your children play in elementary school. Yes. Do they do that anymore? I didn't think so. Yeah. Okay. You always hear the whistling down That's the That's exactly right. Um, and then the last one is the purple cowbells. The purple, which we need more of. We <laughs> always need more cowbell. Yes. And if you get that joke, you're my new friend. <laughs> so those are our teams. Um, and no, we don't take requests no. well, <laughs> at all. That's it. Um, so you will be assigned to that one of those teams. Um, teams are like a mixture of guys and girls. Yep. And we have a guy leader and a girl leader on yep. every team. Um, and that way when we do church group devotion, we're splitting up um, guys and girls that right. way too. Yep. So. Right. so Tim, why don't you tell them what some of the stuff that as a team, how do they earn points as a tribe team? Well, as a person of last year of making points, he was I know very much so how to gain points. <laughs> so he knows the cheat codes. Exactly. Uh -oh. There are some things that you can and can't do. Here we go. Number one that you can do is be on time. That is a big one. Here's with the thing. Every place that we're at. Be there. Your team, live groups, My gotta girl. be there. Your In the morning, point. gotta be, be there. there. Before the whole team. Yes. Before the uh, sermon, you gotta be there. Yeah. On time, sitting down, your team is there. Maybe play something cool on your instrument. Get some extra points. Create a song. Who knows? There you go. March information. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> we usually ask you when, we, like, if you are, if it is a time to gather with your whole team, and you are, are all are on time. That's hard to say. It is. Um, then you like sit down really quick, so we know who got there first, and okay. we record those points based on that. Yeah. So that's one way to get it. Another way to get it is to also um, help clean up. Yep. Be excited. Yep. You will find out in just a second. Spirit days wearing things that has to do with your team you can basically if you come in and you're doing something as a team together that that's one of those things that gets you some points for yeah. your team um, if we have any small little tribe games during the day that earns points that'll get points for your team as well because each night there is a champion for today for that day and there is a special trophy that that Team gets to carry the entire next day yep. to rub it in the face of all the other teams exactly. that they ended off. Alright? <laughs> so just saying, not that we really, yeah, we do that. Yeah. So, so that's right. What's some other, so so what are the, now one of the ways they can earn points is to participate in spirit days. Yep. Mm -hmm. Now you might be thinking, what are spirit days? Well, each day from when you wake up for breakfast till lunchtime, your team has an opportunity to participate together in a spirit day. So what are the spirit days this week? This week? Um, so our spirit days are Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Yes. And the first one on Tuesday is team color slash team theme day. That's yes. right. So when you find out your team color and theme, um, you know, which instrument you are, before camp. So you can buy stuff according to that. You can buy an orange shirt, blue shirt. Green shirt. Um, so you can dress for the color, but you could also add some spirit with what oh. instrument you are. That's exactly um, right. And so we're kind of helping you guys out with that as well, with something that you're going to be receiving in your bags uh, for Fort right. Camp, too. That's right. Um, and then on Wednesday, we have socks and sandals. You day. get yeah. to wear socks and sandals. Now, let me go that ahead. Works. Let me interject something right here. Some folks go, well, socks, I have to do that all day. Nope. It's only from breakfast until lunch. And then after lunch, we usually have a time where students can go back to their rooms and get their stuff ready before they go to picks. Uh, and so you can change if you need to. Yeah. Um, and so, but it's the morning time. So basically when you come to breakfast, that's when you earn your points. Because that's when we can tell that your whole team has participated. So just to let you know that. Yeah, you'll, so that, you'll come to breakfast all crazy dressed up if you want to be wonderful. spirit day. Um, and then we'll check in before we go into a morning celebration. That's right. And that's when we'll know if you're on time with your team. Um, if you're dressing for spirit day, you'll get some points for that. And we sometimes get points about stuff. Yeah, <laughs> just from random things. And by the way, points are specific and they're always exact. There are no fluffing the points. Mm -hmm. yeah. We don't. The points are great. <laughs>
So whatever point you get, you can rest assured that they were counted accurately. <laughs> yeah. I have no words. Because <laughs> they're so perfect. <laughs> yeah. There's no, uh, there's, there's no, what's the word? No, what's the word I'm thinking about? No protest. Yes. No. <laughs> yeah. All right. Points don't lie. <laughs> Points do. don't lie. <laughs> like the science doesn't lie. However, the scientists. <laughs> so, now, okay. Should we tell them about? What's that? The, what we have. What we're gonna. Uh, no, yeah. We have okay. a surprise for you. Yes. When it comes to, we have a surprise. It's never been given, and I'm super and excited about it. And that could be for. It could be for two of them. It could be for anything. Okay. You should keep them forever and pass them down to your grandkids. Oh, this right. is very vague, what we were just talking about, mm -hmm. but that's what's It's like. something every person's getting that we've never given before, and you literally will make everyone jealous who's ever been in tribe exactly. just by having it. But remember yeah. to wash them. That's all we can say. That's all we can say. Okay. Because <laughs> you can wash them, yeah. Okay, so Thursday Spirit Day <laughs> is Tribe Swag Day. Tribe Swag. Uh, which means wear anything tribe. Yes. So, or make anything tribe. Yeah. Exactly. Um, can, yeah, you know how to embroider or sew or... Or just take a permanent marker on a white t-shirt. draw yep. the tribe symbol on there. Exactly. But um, for the next few weeks, we will have the tribe store open on Wednesday nights. We're practically giving that stuff away. Yep. Um, $5 t-shirts with the tribe stuff on it. We have bucket hats. What? We have yes. some baseball caps in now. Yes. Those and, are $15. Um, there's a few water bottles left and coffee mugs. I don't, I don't know, know why you need a coffee mug for camp, but... I don't know. Wednesday's um, coming. Thursday. So, uh, make sure you bring some money Wednesday for if you don't have any tribe swag at home. Or you're make your own. Buy or make exactly. your own. Or make your own. Spell it out. T R I B E. Exactly. Put the tribe guy on there. Exactly. Make yourself the tribe guy. If you do that, we'll give you extra points. Yep. Just random stuff, man. So that's how you earn points. And by the way, just to let you know, the tribe teams and the tribe points are just for our group. Uh, so just remember that. There's there's two distinctions that sometimes gets confusing. You're on a color and a team for tribe. That doesn't mean it's going to be your color for somersault. So don't let that confuse you too much. Because during most of the day, you will be in your Sorry. you will be in your somersault team, mm -hmm. and they'll have a separate color. And for somersault camp, you'll also be earning points to win championship prizes as well. But that's for somersault. So just to let you know, I know it's totally confusing. You're probably wondering what that is. Don't worry, you'll figure it out by Thursday. Yes. Of uh, next week or this week? No, of, of Thursday of camp week. Of camp week. <laughs> so that's really cool. So um, anything else that we need to talk about? Uh, uh, don't forget, guys, pack everything you take in a large suitcase. You yeah. also get to take a backpack to get on the bus, but one large suitcase. That means every bed thing, if you're taking a sleeping bag, it needs to fit in that suitcase. So that we don't have a sleeping bag bag, just one large suitcase, please, or one large duffel bag, please. Yes, that would be most helpful. Yes, it would be super helpful. It would also be super helpful if you put your pillow in it. Because in that way, when we get there, we don't have people trying to go back and get pillows. I have an idea to give everybody. Here we go. Because I just went to California to visit some family, and I wanted to take my own pillow. It's very big. So what I did was I put it in like an air compressed bag. Uh, What's it called? What are those called? Space a, saver bag? Yes, it's called a sucker. Um, so I put that my pillow in one of those. Yes. Um, to bring. I thought about put, uh, I thought about putting our Yorkie puppy in one of those one time to save yes. the work. <laughs> they have some at the dollar store if you don't want to pay a lot for them. So. That might help. Yes, and yes, even though. Even though you have to suck the air out of it, they don't suck. All right, so um, they're good. Nope. Uh, so that's really good. So a bunch of ways to do that. We're excited. Uh, hopefully you guys are figuring out the permission forms and the notary stuff. So sorry about that. Just let you know, because because of all the confusion that has happened, actually South Carolina realized they're going to do something with those forms to make them easier next time. The actual state? The actual state. The whole state. We are impacting Yes, I would rather impact them for the gospel, but I'll impact them for notary <laughs> permission. We can notarize them for the gospel. So that would be hilarious. So, uh, so um, anything else? Are students allowed to bring snacks with them? Yes, they can bring snacks with them. Uh, that would be fine uh, as long as, yeah, as long as they clean up their messes. Yeah. So you sure. can you can pack some crackers in your bag. Yep. Um, you know. Just no throwing it. Yes. Don't throw your so, food. Guys, Who would do that? 
more people than you think. Tell you what, man. Um, just come to come to Mud Bowl if you want. Come to Crud Wars if you want to throw food. Yeah, or you make your to, own. Or make your what? Throwing stuff at home. <laughs> Just a few, just a few thoughts for parents. Um, just we do have a few students with allergies, so if your student's in a room with one of those folks, just make sure they're mindful of their snacks yeah. and um, that they know their friend has yep. some allergies. So, yep, because yep. we want to be, we want to take care of our group, and that's one of the ways we can do that. So, with that said, I'm hoping it, there's probably something we're forgetting, and uh, you can feel free to email us. Or Betsy. But by the way, would you guys just if you get a chance uh, when camp when we go to camp after we go to camp, would you just send Betsy an email telling her how much you appreciate her? She's working really hard. Now, I don't know if you realize this. She has to work with middle school camp and high school camp that is leaving on the same week. So she is busting her tail to try to get everything and that's, done. Together, that's over 260 people. That's crazy. And that's families and people emailing her. And she's doing a great job. And this is the first year she's done it. Yeah. And so we really are appreciating what Betsy's doing. Got to give her a round of applause. Whoa, round of applause. Round of applause. So with that said, Rachel, say bye. Bye. Tim, say bye. See ya. I really hope we're not forgetting anything.